as I noticed before, there's far far too many gaming channels on YouTube for me to bother to try and even compete with them. And I'm just making videos for a bit of a, a laugh and a giggle, really. To do proper gaming videos, you need to spend quite a lot of time and set up quite a lot of kit to do it properly. But I'm sure people re recognise that slightly blurry photo there. Fallout, a game that millions of people have played since it came out in the mid 1990s, well, more like the mid to late 1990s, and millions more will have played it since Bethesda acquired it. Now, anyone who has Amazon as a streaming service will have noticed that it's about to transition into a TV show. Unfortunately, computer games turning into TV shows and movies don't have a great record of success with some rather noticeable muck-ups that you could probably think of along the way. Super Mario Brothers being one of those, um, which was, um, let's just say the plumbers um, didn't manage to unplug the toilet on that one. <laughs> but here's some reactions to it. On the other hand, you've had The Last of Us recently, which seemed reasonably decent. On the other hand, The Last of Us as a game started out with a fairly strong narrative arc anyway. And let's close down a few windows before this computer clashes from window overload. Here's Game Ranks, which of course is hugely popular. And Game Ranks, yes, I know you have a huge website. I'm not seeking to infringe on your copyright. I'm just using you for comparative purposes. While many video gamers are enjoying the renaissance that we're going through currently via their high-quality TV shows and movie adaptations of video games, there's still some hesitation when a new one is announced. Well, there certainly will be with Fallout. Fallout's already been through about four or five major tonal shifts, some of which were a bit like, what was that? When it started, it was more a, a case of it being a... Steampunk wouldn't really describe it, more a kind of imagination of a retro future where things like transistors and that had never really been discovered or pioneered and things were still being made with valves. It was a future as seen from a 1950s American science fiction view is one way of describing it, although even that undersells it, with elements of paranoia about communism, and so on, creeping into it. It also has a certain tone of black comedy. Um, Bethesda took it over when they reacquired it in the in 2000s. I think they've done a reasonable job most of the time, although I do think there are, you know, they've also had some moments where I've wondered if they really get the franchise. Fallout 76 was one of those where they tried to do an online game and put no characters in it. It was like, well, that that's exciting. Um, however, they did rectify that by slowly rebuilding it and slowly turning it into something playable, although it did start out with all four reviews. Also, their decision for a voiced character um, in Fallout 4, I don't think we need a voiced character. I know, I know you can't get away with that nowadays without voiced characters. People playing console games uh, don't have the patience that PC gamers did back in the day with these games or more niche games for more hardcore gamers. But here's some other reactions. The Radio Times, which, yes, strangely enough, still exists. Um, we'll try to sell with the Galaxy Tab S9 series there. No, thank you. I don't want another tab. Fallout TV show can do one major thing as a games card, says Todd Howard. Oh, it's Todd Howard. The man... <laughs> The man whose name we must we worship, Todd Howard, the man of the leather jacket, Todd Howard. Let us all bow. If anyone's familiar with the um, gaming channel Spiffing Brit, at this point, I can just imagine him popping out of the side of the screen and spinning, going Todd Howard uh, in a slightly sarcastic voice, and possibly asking if I'd like a cup of Yorkshire tea. As fans of the Fallout games wait in anticipation to see just how fateful the TV show to its source material, yeah, well, that's the major problem, isn't it, of course? Um, the games are such black humour and heavy in gore that it's going to be hard to be that fateful to them. I've worked my way through most of them. I've, 
stopped about maybe a third of the way through Fallout 76 because I was busy with other things, but that was just as gory as all the others and just as full of heads exploding and critical strikes and stuff. So, so gory that if you showed half the material from it, if you were running a proper gaming channel, YouTube would be would be doing a critical strike on you. Um, I will say, having watched the trailer on Amazon, I'm cautiously going to give it a try. The trailer can actually be watched on YouTube. I've left some sort of these are sort of some different takes from difficult different points of views, such as GameSpot as well. So I'm going to put them in the link so people can have different points of views. I'm not willing to sort of write it off without seeing it because that's unfair. But the number of attempts to turn computer game franchises into um, shows or movies that hasn't really come off is lengthy indeed when, when you get to it. Or where it sometimes kind of half come off, like the recent Dungeons and Dragons movie where it half worked in my opinion, but too much fan service and but it at least had some humor to it so when it gets to the 11th of this month i will be giving it a, a trial if nothing more to give it its fair um a fair share of a watch before i judge it and i'll probably give it a couple of episodes as it's often very difficult to judge shows on just one episode <laughs> 